Hey, First Baptist, this is going to be a great week in the life of our church. I want to talk to you about some special events that are upcoming. First of all, this Sunday at 5 o'clock, we're going to be ordaining Wes Fleming to the gospel ministry. That's a special time, as you know. It's going to be a special time for Wes. It's going to be a special time for our congregation, particularly our children's ministry. And I hope you will take time out of your afternoon on Sunday to be here at 5 o'clock to celebrate with Wes his ordination into the ministry. Of course, we'll have a reception following. Sunday morning, we'll be gathering for worship at 8.55 and 11 a.m. And we're going to be talking about who are we trying to please. So I hope you'll be here for that. But now, I want to shift gears and I want to pick up a basketball. Because five weeks from tonight is the first night of upward evaluations. Just in five weeks, this room will be alive with the sound of children who are here to be uh, chosen for basketball teams and cheerleading squads. And of course, the person who is the uh, godmother of Upward in our church is Robin, who we ordained just a few weeks ago. So Robin, talk to us a little bit about Upward. Uh, Upward is my favorite program here at First Baptist. And but more than, the, more than the preaching? Uh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beginning of our 21st year, and we have basketball and cheerleading beginning uh, in the week after Thanksgiving. But between now and then, we have a registration process going on. Uh, you can register online now uh, at fbckpt.org slash upward. Uh, you can also register to be a volunteer. So what, when you say volunteer, what kind of roles are there for volunteers? Uh, there are coaches, there are referees, there are prayer partners, there are scorekeepers and uh, clock operators. Uh, there are people who give uh, devotions at our different game days in January and February. Also, uh, the first need, I guess, is that we have a open house evaluation time on uh, Monday and Tuesday night, November 6 and 7, and uh, we'll need some volunteers to help us out that night, those two nights for uh, running drills, uh, greeting people, uh, measuring for uniforms, that kind of thing. So you don't have to be Rick Barnes at Tennessee to coach upward, is that correct? No, and the, the greatest thing is we have preseason training for coaches and for referees, and we'll teach them what they need to know to do a great job. So what if I'm a parent, and, and what ages are our children involved in upward now? Uh, they need to be currently enrolled in kindergarten through sixth grades. and uh, Boys and girls? Boys and girls, yes. How about cheerleading? kindergarten through sixth grade for that too. Wow, so there's a lot of stuff going on. How many kids did we have involved last year? I'm trying to remember. We had 151 kids last year. Wow, that's terrific. So. Of course, the season begins, as Robin said, November 6th and 7th with upward evaluation nights. Team practices begin a few weeks after that, and then the games, eight weeks of games, begin in January. And before you know it, we're back to the upward awards time in the spring, and another year of upward basketball and cheerleading will have changed lives in our church and in communities around us. So I hope that whether you can coach or be a volunteer, or maybe you can't do either of those things, you'll commit right now to praying every day of our upward season. We'll keep you posted on how things are going, what you can do right now. Let children in your community who may not know about upward, let them know about it. If they cannot afford to play, we do have scholarship opportunities available. And that gives us one more chance to reach children with the gospel. If you've never been to an upward practice, a part of the practice is a devotional time. Every child will have the opportunity to hear the life-changing gospel of Jesus throughout the season. So be praying for them, be praying for our coaches, our volunteers, pray for Robin, and pray for the referees. That's always a fun task. <laughs> it's gonna be a great year of upward, and I want us to begin by praying right now. Lord God, thank you for Upward. Thank you for those who began this ministry 21 years ago, who've been faithful to it, continue to be loyal, continue to give of themselves. I thank you for generations of changed lives that began right here in this gym because of Upward. And I pray you'll be with us throughout the Upward season. I pray you'll be with Wes during his ordination. I pray you'll be with all of our church Sunday as we worship. Make this a good day 
of grace and mercy through Jesus. Amen.